dear friends welcome to crafty healing hope you guys are all doing good so today's video is another dutch pair yeah i am totally on the dutch pour trip these days um i'm loving them uh one of the things i really like about them is that they're a little bit less messy than the ring pour although it could get messy if i keep like doing it over and over which i do tend to do but i'm trying to limitize myself and to learn control and learn when to stop when to say when okay anyhow as you can see i have a 10 by 20 all set coated with this beautiful blue color um please don't ask me totally what's in the blue color this is a mixture of so many different things drips and then i can tell you that definitely in here we have some uh blue green blue from amsterdam i'm sure we have some even pigments from color art that, uh i mean oh i i i don't know this is just a beautiful blue color anyway but i can't tell you is these colors so today the color that i have that i am going to pour onto this beautiful blue color base is my favorite colors antique copper i believe it's by folk art metallics it's just beautiful i hope you guys can see it if you can't see it because i'm not doing that great of a job here but videotaping but i hope you guys can tell it's so gorgeous i love this color i love it love it love it I love, uh, equally love the uh extreme sheen regular copper not antique just regular old copper and then of course we have stream sheen 24 karat gold all right so we're ready to go now so let's hope i don't mess this up like i have messed so many others up but one can only hope right so all we can do is hope <laughs> anyway all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to first pour some down here Just a bit. Okay. Yeah. I think I should have done a little bit. I don't know why I always get my centers totally off. Completely off. I don't know. Let's see if I can fix this up a little bit. Where's my blue? I have some more blue, so. Uh, don't mess this up. Yeah, mix it up so don't get messed up. <laughs> All right, I think I know what I'm gonna do. All right just cover it up somehow anyway I got what I wanted done alrighty <coughs> okay hmm. <laughs> here comes my beautiful copper that I love You know, I never, before I started acrylic pouring, I never really paid attention to copper. And I bought these paints from Sargent. At that time, uh, I got it off of Amazon, and it was a set of metallics, and they were such good price. I've never seen it for the, that price ever after that. And that antique copper in that set just blew me away I was like I never would have thought that I would fall so much in love with a copper and after that I can't really find antique copper anymore uh, from Sargent's but I have found it now um, in the folk art metallics so I thought I could use that 
see what happens here. Hope this turns out good. <coughs> if not, we'll try to look at it as a learning experience. <laughs> Anyhow, let's go. Now I got my hair dryer is ready to go. And make sure it's on cool, on high. And let's go. Okay, not a total failure, not a total failure, but could be better. We'll work on that. Okay, I'm going to start working on this side now.
So the mini blower comes in for the save. I really liked how this um, pour turned out. It took a bit. It took me quite a bit, but I got it to how I like it. And I hope you guys like it too. The results are coming up here shortly. And uh, hope you guys are doing well, taking care, keeping safe. Until next time, my dear friends, take care.